Hello YouTube and what's up guys? Getting a lot of questions from people asking what's it like to have a pet monkey in the house? Are they hard work? What they like? And guys, I'm just going to show you a little video of what they're like. They're really, really clever animals. But they're really, really naughty. To us, they're naughty, but not for themselves. They just grab anything, pull anything, hang anything, jump off anything. I'm just going to show you this video now. I wish what you'll do. And that's him just playing. So this is my games room here, nobody's here. So I'm just gonna do a little video and show you guys what he does. One of the things he loves doing is that me chasing him. But yeah, guys, if you got wires and cables, they'll chew them. If you got remotes like that, remote controls, they'll take them, they'll hide them. They'll chew them, take the buttons off. Your TV, if you look closely to it, when you've just been on there now, you'll see little Max all over the TV where the squirrel monkeys are really, really clean and to get their hands nice and clean, it's gonna sound funny, right? Is that they urinate on their hand, which is scentless, there's no smell to it, and they use that to wash their hand and everything, so they get a better grip. But you can see they'll leave like little marks on the TV and everything where they've been around. And when they reach adulthood hood, at the age of three, they can start getting a little bit aggressive. So when they become sexually matured, and they've got all that hormone that they playing around, so they can get a little bit aggressive with everyone. So we're just knowing how to deal with them at that stage and how to use that high energy that they got and to calm them down and to calm them down. So this is where your expertise will come into play. But look at this. So you could imagine if this was your living room or in your house and you let them out. See this, let me see where the picture is. See this picture up here? Well, there's one missing from here. Probably dropped down there with Chico who wants to go and grab on it. But I'm okay with it guys. So this is what I bought myself into. I know what I got myself into. I like all this. So I like about Chico, but for those of you who are asking, I'm just uh, showing you the video and see if you guys are okay with all this. And especially your, your missus, the wives, they will not be okay with it, I'm telling you not, guys. So we've got a snooker table here. Has to be covered up in case he pees on it. And even though that Chico is um, diaper trained, I just my best to put it up when I just really need to. But the most of the time, I just like him to run around free in his own elements. And as you can see, he's very healthy, very happy. And look how fast he is. Come on, Chico, let's go. Come on. Come here. Come, on, come here. Say hello to everyone. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello to everyone. Say hello to everyone. Am I talking about you, Chico? If you'll come to me and you'll give me cuddles. And also, guys, that they are very, very... um. Uh, social animals they need companionship all the time so if you you at least need a minimum of four hours four hours minimum a day to spend out of the cage playing with it or it's just gonna be like a lockup for him all the time like a prison and if you've got a very big cage and if you have two of them that's not too bad but on their own can you see all that guys? On their own, I, I would not recommend leaving a monkey in a cage for hours and hours and just now and again you spend time with that's not good, that's no bond ship on the thing. You wouldn't, if you want to do that, you can just go to the um, zoo and do that. But you, you want to spend a lot of time. I just built a big enclosure as well in the garden. I want to see if I can get Chico to go out there. What's that, Chico? What's that? What's this? You wanna go out? That's his leash, you just come and pull him out. Yeah, so I've made the big enclosure, which I got some um, pheasants in as well. 
but I also wanted to, um, I made it big enough so I can have a chair in there and chicken could run around, do whatever he likes in there, bite what he wants, play, wreck what he wants, that's all fine in there. So that's one, one big enclosure I made for him. I'm gonna try to do a little video for that guys as well. And if you don't have the lifestyle, then guys, uh, don't get a monkey. I tell you, I'll stress you out. You probably have uh, fun the first one or two um, month, probably, you know, where you go around, you show all your friends and you've done all the stuff. And then day in, day out, you might slowly, slowly start losing interest, spend less time with it, and you start loving. Don't forget, you have to give your family time, your work time, the wife time, and obviously you have to give the monkey time. So you've got to see if you've got all that time for it, you know. So there are people out there who have got a lot of time who are free and obviously that's good for them so i'm just showing you i'm not telling nobody not to get them or anything now so i'm just going to show you like what they do and then you can decide for yourself you see that like a bullet i'm just going to change the camera around come on chica let's go boy let's go I could even leave this door open here and Chica will not run away from me. Pigeons, doves everywhere. I can't show you the new enclosure I made. It's right under that tree house. I'll try to show you guys in another video. So guy, I work from home like this, so I'm always home. And my passion is always with animals. I'm with animals all the time. So it's perfect for me to spend a lot of time. Got the cables up here. They were for the snooker table hanged up. But he's pulled them down. For him, everything is in entertainment. And everything is all a game for him. I'm just going to be a bit quiet and show you what he does. If we wasn't watching him. thinking why I'm not talking. I want to see what happens if I hide. See if he comes, if he knows I'm leaving. He just is so clever. He knows that I'm watching. He knows that I'm watching him. And because of that intelligence, guy, that's what makes him a very, very big challenge. But they love to play. Here she go. Chico, come on. Come on. See, sometimes you do certain routines and then he knows, like, he's going to come to you and you're going to catch him, put him in the cage. So he's going to keep his distance away from you. Watch what he's up to. It's 
Ну, за пинфили оставим, да. Да не. How fast these guys? I have a lot of people who comes to my house as well to come and see Chico, and straight away they ask they want they want one, and then when I tell them when I show them what they like, then they realize. Not the kind of pet they want. Well, they want it, but it is the other all the hard work that goes with it. And don't forget, guys, every day you have to be making fresh, cutting fresh fruit, fresh veg, which don't last long. You have to do this every day. Fruit, veg, insects, you know, it was day in, day out. Every single day you have to do that. That monkey there relies solely on you for everything. His food, his welfare, his happiness. Everything's cleanliness, everything relies on you. What are you doing now? What are you doing? They are small monkeys, but they're very clever, very intelligent. And also, they can give the most nastiest bite ever. Really nasty bite. They can bite your hands and cut deep and and undo a big open wound on your hand and they do not like kids because kids are always like over happy when they see them over happy and try to grab them and touch them so they learn that if they bite the kid the kids will stay away from them that's another thing you got to be careful any animal can bite any time but monkeys even when you smile at them when you smile at a monkey, something you're happy, you smile to them. It's like uh, when you smile, you're showing your teeth and all that. It's like you're showing aggression to them, so they can take it the wrong way as well. With Chico so far, we've been so lucky. We haven't had any bad accidents or anything like that so far. I've had a few, few nips of Chico as well. A few bites of him. And that's just him that's just a monkey doing what it's got to do no matter how tame they are they will always bite so yeah guys this is what you're gonna have a monkey running around your whole house and if that's okay with you and you got the time you can be bothered doing it then yes you will have one of the best companions in the world the fun what you get with a monkey is like next level a cat and a dog got nothing on a monkey they are just next level also in the uk where we live we do not require a license to keep a squirrel monkey or a marmoset monkey anything above that you will need a wild dangerous life uh, life license which you'll have to get from your councils but um, even if you live in the UK, may, I don't know, um, maybe England or Scotland, you might have to check over there. But I know Wales, where we live, you do not require a license to keep squirrel monkeys. But you do need a lot of knowledge to know what you're doing. And you need, and the experience will help a lot. The other thing as well, you want, you're going to have to bath this monkey every, every um, once a week or whatever. How are you going to do it? It's not going to let you do it. So you have to find a pattern of how you're going to get the monkey to have a bath. And even though you do it day, a week, every weekly, it don't mean that they get used to it. It's something that they do not like water on, just like a cat. So you've got to find a way of doing that. And in that process, you can get bit as well if you don't do it correctly. Chico is mainly being in control, mainly because of the leash, the collar that he has around his neck. You have a little bit more control of him than you would do if you had it around the waist. I always wanted it around Chico's waist. I made many videos. I tried my best. But something that he wouldn't accept anyway around his waist. He felt like there was something wrapping around his um, belly. 
but on his next on his neck he's taken he took it really well and he's really responsive on me see and this is how they dry their hands if they get anything on they use the end, uh, tip of their tail they can live 18 over 18 years in captivity but live a little bit longer in captivity as they're getting fresh water fresh food all the time but if you're gonna get a monkey and you're gonna put it in your front room in your living room with a cage you're watching tv and you just got him in a cage and you're gonna feed him scrap of your of your food and all that then guy that is totally um in my opinion totally cruel that is absolutely cruel these guys are bred in captivity um, we even got videos where we bought a partner. Well, we got a female one for Shakira, uh, for Chico Shakira, which, because he goes crazy when he sees his own reflection. So we got a female for him. And instead of being happy and everything and cuddling and everything, he attacked her, you know, so he's imprinted it on me. And whenever I got close, close to the two monkey to protect me, he would go and attack the other, other monkey. So that shocked, shocked me as well. So we had to end up giving her back. Other than that, there you look. Let me get my camera ready. Chico! They need to feed this. Look at all these worms in here. Them. Crickets. Along with all these peanuts. And then you got Missouri monkey monkey biscuits. I really enjoy it. I got so many animals if you check my other channel. So what I do is when I wake up in the morning, I just mix all their food one go goes out to see all my animals gives them a bit of time i which i really enjoy so they gives me more than i give them they give me so much pleasure so much happy watching them so yeah guys so i just thought i'll do a video and let you guys see what's it like to have a monkey in the house so you guys be your own judge you decide for yourself and please give a like and thumbs up and if you have any questions i'll do my best to answer them to the best of my ability come here baby come on you coming over look chico and different days they act different it's funny like normally you'd come out you go out but he can sense something is up so he's staying by there could be even the noise that the neighbors are making chopping down trees so something's not making him come by here. Also, when birds fly above him, I notice that he's a little bit scared of birds because in the wild, you'd have hawks and eagles trying to hunt them down. So yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Chico, say ta-da. Chico. Chico. You see? See, he's not listening. Chico. Chico, you gonna say you gonna say ta da? Oi, oi! There you go. He's not listening. Okay, thank you guys again for watching.